If there is one question I received a lot since I published, I mean, I mean since the floating panels actually got released in Plasma 5.25 is how do I customize them? Which is a fair question. I've been asked as an example how to change the height of the floatiness, the transparency of the panels and their roundness. So all of these things are customizable through the Plasma theme and I'll show you how, but the most simple way you can approach this is to actually open settings, go to the plasma style and try out new themes and see how they actually adapt to the floatiness. Maybe you have some more uh, rounded ones that you might prefer or more transparent. This as an example is way more transparent and I think it fits well a floating panel. If you need a more uh, rounded one, you can very simply just search for rounded in the plasma styles, pick one that you like. This one as an example seemed to be very rounded and then we close and we select it and as you can see it will be much more rounded compared to the default one. So this is the easy way. What currently plasma themes do not quite customize is the height of the floatiness but I'll teach you how and I'll also teach you how to make your own plasma uh, style. I actually did a series of videos about this so you can actually already go to my playlist in my channel and see how to make your plasma theme without any line of code so you can check that one out. Anyway if you go to the your USR sure uh, folder, you will find one folder called Plasma and inside of it one folder called the desktop theme. Now by default the default uh, theme is used which is usually usually breeze, uh, breeze and then here inside of here you actually get all of the SVGs that customize the appearance of the plasma theme and it's all SVGs. Now uh, the important folders to keep uh, eye on are widgets because inside of that there's the panel SVG and also translucent, solid and opaque. Translucent is the one used when you actually enable contrast effect. Solid is used when something is maximized and the panel becomes opaque and opaque is used when you have compositing disabled and when you have compositing disabled you need an opaque uh, SVG. Now uh, with this theme with the default breeze, let's switch back to it. I do have the contrast effect enabled, so we're interested in editing the translucent one. And again, we just panel background. So we open this up with Inkscape. And first of all, we see that we have this element here, which is the actual panel. And it's called center, right, top right, top, and so on. If you want to change the transparency of the default uh, panel, you can just select all of these elements and you will see that they do have by default a transparency, better if you select them with this tool, which is 85%. So you can just change this one just like that and then you save. Then to actually change how much uh, the panel is floating, so the high, well, you can see that you do have this element here which is called thick hint right margin, thick hint left margin and so on and then a center element called thick center. You need to do the same thing but instead of thick, you need to use floating. So we can just copy paste these elements Again, if you're very confused about what I'm doing, I suggest you to go check out at least the first video about my uh, plasma theming playlist, just for sure. So now it's called Thick Center 3 and we'll call it Floating Center. This one becomes floating hint right margin and so on. When you've done this, it's very easy to actually finally change the height and you just do that by resizing the elements. The bigger the elements are, the bigger the panel will be. Right now, I'm going to say I would suggest against using super big values as I'm doing right now as an example because uh, it doesn't handle those very well. Remember that whenever you actually maximize a window, the panel defloats and covers uh, the floating space which means that it will become bigger but uh, if you don't like that I'm trying to see how it could Im be improved as an example it was proposed and I think it's very reasonable not to defloat the panel when you have uh, out hide window scan cover and such so now that we have actually edited the SVG we can up 
applied effects by switching to another theme and then back to Breeze or, you know, reloading Plasma Shell with Plasma Shell Replace or, I don't know, rebooting anything. Okay, I've done that and you can see that the panel is now much more floating, a lot more floating, and it's also more transparent. If I open up uh, like Dolphin and uh, maximize it, you can see that the panel becomes gigantic. Again, I warned you, so it's up to you to choose how much floatiness you would like to see. Uh, still, if you maybe use always like uh, auto hide, then it can make sense to have such a thing. So the cool thing about uh, the floating panel is that it actually requires no changes in the plasma theme of existing plasma themes, which means that any plasma theme that you see on the store is actually compatible with floating panels and you can just download any that you'd like. Uh, if you don't think that the default is enough rounded, transparent, you can go ahead and pick anything from the store. And believe me, there's like hundreds of themes. I've done some of myself. Mine, I think, is called painting. Yeah, this one, which is like default, but a bit more transparent if you're into that. I haven't showed you how to actually change the radius of the corner via the plasma theme. And for that, I would suggest generally to refer to the other plasma themes uh, with bigger roundness. But one trick that I've heard is that sometimes just making the element bigger works just like that. I actually never tried it, so it's one trick that I've been told, but uh, you have to figure out how it works exactly. And in general, it's better to take a theme that's already more rounded and base, on, uh, base your theme on that. Uh, unluckily, roundness is not as easy as it seems. And I've also been asked, and this is very fair, why can't I just make an options for this kind of things? So I've been asked for three, three options, basically, which is uh, the trans transparency amount, uh, the corner radius, and the floatiness. Now, the first two, so the opacity and the roundness of the corner, are actually impossible to implement because they're implemented in the plasma theme in the SVG, and you just can't edit the SVG before rendering it. So the only way to actually make a slider with a corner radius would be that that slider actually edits the plasma theme and it saves a new version, and that's completely unfeasible. So corner radius and transparency cannot be, uh, you can just can't have an option for that. You have to use a different plasma uh, theme. Hopefully this is something that could be fixed in the future with uh, a theming system redesign, but currently that's the situation we're in. About the floatingness, the actual value of how much the panel is floating, this is something that could technically be implemented with a slider. However, I'm not a fan for the simple reason that we do do already have way too many options in the panel settings and before adding any I would like to take off some that are already there. As an example I don't think that windows can cover and windows go below are that useful though I've seen some people disagree so probably they won't go away although I don't think they're that necessary and in general uh, I would like to redesign this dialogue because it is becoming a bit of a mess. So my priority is actually improving what we have for uh, panel settings right now. If any options people really want to see added on it, then that can come later. But keep in mind that it's not like I'm taking away any choice from you. You can actually customize it. I've made it so that you can customize it, but you have it. You have to edit your plasma theme or use a third party plasma theme that actually edits it. Finally, the very last thing I want to say is that I've seen this post that I did one year ago in the RKD community and I'm just so impressed by it because it was the video that I did before I had anything on the floating panel because the first thing I did when I wanted to implement a floating panel is I went, uh, I did a video saying so and I went to Reddit and said, hey, can anybody help me actually make this? Uh, can you donate anything to actually give Give me enough time and resources to work on this and people stood up so I was super happy and one year later I'm happy to say that the floating panels have been indeed been released on Plasma 5.25 so my part of the promise is 
kept i'm super happy and if you'd like to donate uh, to thank me of that or you know if you like my channel or if you like anything of me i guess if you have the possibility that would be nice but uh, it's not like a necessity i'm happy as i am currently so thanks everybody for watching and thanks for everybody who is currently donating to my channel is a patron because that i'm doing this in my free time and that's what actually allows me to do all of this so thanks everybody so much and see you tomorrow with a new video fully